Every student in Bill Schneider's class is bent over a desk, scrolling the internet on an iPod touch. Last month, Schneider, who teaches at Parkside Collegiate Institute in St. Thomas, secured 10 iPod touches for his students as part of a pilot project for the Thames Valley District School Board. What I see is uh, engagement, uh, interest, uh, collaborative learning is the big one. I'm learning from them as they're learning from me. That's the cool part. The gadgets allow students to search the web for in-class research and also come equipped with apps. One of the things that those iPod touches have on them is, are the complete works of Shakespeare. So when the teacher in the classroom wants to reference something about discrimination, he can say, and turn to Merchant of Venice, and here's Shylock's speech, you know, hath not a Jew eyes, and, and, and he's able to reference and, and work like that directly. Principal Paul Sador has embraced technology at Parkside with an if you can't beat them, join them kind of attitude. These kids grew up with this, and this is how they communicate, and if we can use that to our advantage and use it to, to help kids learn, then I think that's a wonderful thing. There's also potential to use iPod touches in music class. One will be a guitar and a drum and a voice modulator and things like that. In real time, we should be able to make a, com uh, a composition that we can play and digitally record all on the iPod touches. For the London Free Press, I'm Jennifer O'Brien.